Hi, my name's Daryl Simons, and it's a pleasure to see all of you here today here at Oceanology 2018. This year, on the booth, for the first time, we have a full mooring that we've mocked up. Now, I'm gonna walk you through what's on that mooring. The greatest part about this is that we've teamed with one of our great third-party providers. We have many of them. In this case, we teamed with a company called Mooring Systems Incorporated, and if we look at the top of the mooring, we see an elliptical-shaped buoy. This is meant for high current flow. It allows the buoy to stay stationary, even in a high current. Normally, you would see a, a, a full round buoy. Many manufacturers make different styles. This is, happens to be from Mooring Systems Incorporated. You see at the bottom of it is a Sentinel V ADCP. That has five beams on it. In this case, in this application, the fifth beam will be turned off because it's actually looking straight down at the mooring line. And that would actually block all of the signals. So you just use the four beams. On the top of that mooring, we could actually put another Sentinel V looking upward. Since it's at the top of a subsurface buoy, we can turn on the fifth beam and we can measure the vertical velocities all the way up to the surface. Moving down the mooring line, what we have is a CTD. CTD measures conductivity, temperature, and pressure. In this particular model, we put on these copper screens. The screens come in two different sizes to allow us to allow free water flow, but if you're in a high sediment area, you might want to have smaller netting on the screens. You unscrew those copper screens and you can clean out it with a bottle brush. A diver actually could go in the water and clean this out so you never have to actually pull it all the way up to the surface. The copper is used because it's an anti-fouling. We don't get any growth on there. So the water flows through the center of that and it has a temperature sensor inside there co-located with the conductivity sensor. What that allows is very accurate measurements of conductivity, temperature, and pressure and allows you to do speed of sound, you can do uh, different measurements for uh, density, and it's used in a, many different applications. Here it's just the mooring one. Below that now we come into an inline mooring frame, also designed and built by Mooring Systems Incorporated. In this case, the ADCP in the center is how you would normally deploy. Now, for space, we've actually moved and attached two other instruments to the outside. You would normally not deploy it like this because a mooring out in the water like this, you'd have instruments out in the flow and fishermen or other things could get caught on those and it would break it off. So this is just for display. However, let me walk you through what we're looking at. The one that's here in black that's closest to us, that is actually an acoustic modem made by one of our companies called Teledyne Benthos. This allows us to transfer data from the ADCP all the way up to a surface modem. That surface modem would be on a surface buoy. From the surface buoy, you would uh, telemeter that data back to shore. That allows you to get deep water ADCP data all the way back at your desktop. On the far side, we have what we call our Doppler volume sampler, or DVS for short. It's also another ADCP, but its deal is, is to measure high resolution currents in a very short range, up to three meters. We allow five depth cells from that instrument, whereas the other ADCPs, we allow up to 255 depth cells to be measured. With the DVS, the idea is to put that in the area below the mooring to measure close to the bottom. It can be mounted right in line on a mooring line. It also comes with a feature that you can put an, acoustic, uh, uh, an inductive modem module in there so that you can actually get telemetry all the way up to the surface in a different way than acoustics. Below this mooring frame, now we have a hard hat that's yellow plastic. Inside that is a glass ball. It adds flotation. Those can be mounted anywhere on a mooring line, wherever you need it. In this case, we have it mounted close to the acoustic release so that when the acoustic release, also made by Teledyne Benthos, lets go of the bottom more, uh, weight, which is a railroad wheel, it allows the system to actually float up easier. It makes it easier for recovery. The whole system here is all Teledyne products. We've got Teledyne RD instruments with the ADCPs and CTD. We have Teledyne Bentos with the acoustic release that allows us to send an acoustic signal to it to release the weight and then the flotation. And then we have the acoustic telemetry. And at the very top, as I mentioned in the beginning, is Mooring Systems Incorporated uh, elliptical sphere. Teledyne Marine. Everywhere you look.